What's up guys, it's chemgirl6022. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to introduce you to a very special guest, Copper Trillium 3.14. What's up chemies, it's good to be here. We have a very special episode for you guys today. For a 500 subscriber special, I got my hands on some polonium. Wait, what? Girl, don't even trip, I did my research. Polonium 210 was discovered by a girl named Mary Curry. Ah, uh, it's Curie. Whatever. Apparently, it's a super duper dangerous toxin, 250 billion times more dangerous than hydrogen cyanide. If it enters the body, it can be deadly. At least, that's what Wikipedia says, but my teachers say Wikipedia isn't a reliable source, so must be fake news. Where the H-E double hydrogen did you get this stuff? This is highly radioactive stuff. Oh, it's fine. I ordered it off Amazon with my daddy's credit card. I might bet a government watch list or something, but it's fine. It may have also said something on the ad about a half-life of 138 days. At least it's not expired. Hold on, chemgirl. I think that actually means how quickly unstable atoms undergo radioactive decay, meaning how much time it takes for the element to become stable and not dangerous. Ooh, who cares, Copertillium 3.14? I know what I'm doing. Half-life means half the fun, you goof. Now let's get cracking. I really don't feel comfortable about this. They say that it's extraordinarily toxic, even in quantities smaller than one billionth of a gram. Yeah, that's why I bought a whole gram. The more, the merrier. No, that's not how it works. What's going on here, guys? Hope nothing illegal. <gasps> Hi, an alcohol is an organic compound in which a hydroxyl functional group is bound to a saturated carbon atom. The term alcohol originally referred to ethyl alcohol, which is used as a drug and is the main alcohol present in alcoholic beverages. And did you know that LD50 of alcohol is actually 13 shots? And I'm only 12 shots deep. Drink responsibly. Oh no, don't worry. We weren't doing anything wrong. Well, that's good. I'd hate to be that babysitter and tell your parents that you were misbehaving. Hey, what's on your hand? Who, me? Bro. Look, nothing. Oh jeez, I must be tripping. I should really lay off the hooch. What's going on with her, bro? She ate polonium! Poloni who be what? What tarnation is that? Bad news. FBI, everybody freeze! FBI, what are you guys doing here? We tracked an Amazon order of polonium to this location. We're here to extract and contain it. Dear God. What is it? The radiation levels are over 9,000! That's not even possible! Believe it, brother. We need to extract the polonium before the situation escalates any further. The radiation has affected the others as well. We're fooling into jail. Don't lose hope, Agent K. All we have to do is find the element and extract it. Dear God, it's in her stomach. Got an idea? Come here. I'm going in. I'm sorry, Miss. This may sting a bit. Do you see it? Oh, no, no, not yet. Oh, oh, hold on. I, I think I found it. Good God, man. No, that's her spleen. We're, we're running out of time. Oh, um, okay, okay. Um, oh, oh I, I found it. Stop waving it around. Get it in the lifeline container. That was a close one. Yeah, it, if only we'd been here sooner, we could have uh, saved these poor souls. So for all the viewers at home, we would just like to educate everyone on the dangers of polonium. It is a highly radioactive element. Polonium is an extremely rare, and due to the extremely short half-life of its isotopes, most polonium is now produced by bombarding bismuth with neutrons or protons. There are 33 known isotopes of polonium. All of these isotopes are radioactive. We could keep going, but frankly, just don't touch the stuff, kids. Word. This is why you don't play with unknown substances, especially radioactive ones. Thanks for watching. Keep it real, cheese. A message from the Government of Canada.